Welcome to another video, everybody. Look at this ASMR. No, I'm just kidding. We're doing another gate operation. I thought this was gonna be like, you know, things like gate ops. No, no, that's gonna do something like gate operations. What we do. So yeah, what I would do is literally just stand out here. Either they might need some questions. Do you need something? So he got he's the guy's in the end That's what we do. So my dudes are just gate operations. I gave you a his duty issue, yes, it's duty issue. This is duty issue, see. Well it's not duty issue, but it's literally the CSE uniform. So Please. Yeah, I don't support the RCMP in this game because they do not help at all. So we got a person that wants to visit your head, so. Get off the vehicle. Get off the truck, you dummies. Is ever wondering how to visit somebody? This, this is the way. You come down there, like you come through one of these entrances. You just come down here, park your vehicle, go right through here. Gate operations are pretty fun, it's just really the pain on the way coming down here and doing it on stuff like this. If you see, we got a lot of subs on the like five or something. Never mind, we got sick. So I'm just a correctional officer, so I'm going to recommend like divisions like gate operations, interior operations, like frontline ops. I think it'd be pretty fun to do that, but and also it does depend. So I'll see you guys when we get our next thing. Go. So we just had a person pull up, so we're just gonna investigate what's happened on. UBRP. Possible prison breach. Now we need to clear this whole place. I'm not gonna. You know, our, our shot, like, that ton of people are. So, what? One of the things we do is I try to do something. Because I'm gonna check. Around the perimeter, and if there's anybody around there, I will. I will. Oh, shit. If they're trying to break in, then I think we have authorization to shoot them because they're trying to break in the prison. You know, the tasers don't reach, only reach like 40 studs. Actually, I don't think they only reach like 15 studs. So, taser reach sounds about right, so. I think this kid's just trolling. 
See you guys in a minute. So one thing we see is see we do like a stage one training, which is like basic introductory introductions to the service, and then we also then we'll do on um, a tour of the prison. And then stage two is pr mostly practical, but then we do some informational class. But then so we do informational class and then practicals. The practical is not hard at all. You just have to be competent to do it. I've met a lot of people that are not competent whenever it comes to this, and they fail it easily, but it's really not hard to do it. You just have to be competent, day. I've met a lot of incompetent people before. It's kind of very um, disruptive. Dis See, incompetent people do incompetent stuff. <laughs> Literally, I wish they were not retarded. It's just one basic key element about being a correctional officer. You have to have good common sense in these areas. And we have to be basically old, so... Uh, I just hope you all do. Find this video helpful, and I will see you guys all later. Bye.